In April 2017, Borussia Dortmund were traveling to their stadium to play Monaco in the Champions League quarterfinals. Suddenly, there was a loud bang, followed by screams rising from the smoke. Dortmund's bus had been attacked, and the story behind it is too incredible to believe. The news shocked the world. Borussia were the target of a terrorist attack. The three bombs were filled with metal pins, hidden on the side of a driveway. They were detonated by remote as the bus approached its target. A window broke and glass splinters flew inside. One metal pin shot straight into a headrest, narrowly missing Mark Bartra. The defender was the only injured player. But fear cast its shadow over the Champions League. So, who was responsible for this horrible act? I was terrified to leave the bus. We thought it was ISIS. Several radical and extremist groups claimed responsibility for it. Three letters were found near the bombing site claiming the attack on behalf of the Islamic State. But something seemed off. The investigation went on and finally, the perpetrator was caught. Sergei Venergold, a 29-year-old German electrician without a criminal record who didn't even care about football. Why would he commit such a horror? Ja, kann ich es für mich nicht nachzuvollziehen, weder emotional noch äh, rational. Venergold had a truly evil plan. In 2000, Dortmund became the first and only Bundesliga club to list itself on the stock exchange. Borussia went public and have made $152 million on the stock market ever since then. On the day of the attack, Venner Gold bought 60,000 of Dortmund's put options. This kind of stock is a wager against companies. It means you're betting on the shares to fall a lot in a very short time. But an Austrian stock trader slash Dortmund fan saw this maneuver and alerted the club. The only way to explain such a huge buy is if you know that the price will go down. This could only happen in an unexpected, bizarre event. Like a terrorist attack. Venergold bought this stock and made that happen. If the stock fell to zero, he would make over $600,000. It sounds like a plot from a James Bond movie, but his scheme didn't work out. When the stock market opened the next day, things were calmer. The injuries were limited and the match rescheduled. Borussia's stock only fell by 2%. This unspeakable act had terrible consequences for Dortmund's players. Very strange um, feeling and uh, very uh, surrealistic. Some of them had a tougher time than others. I suffered mortal fear and was afraid I would never see my family again. For a moment, I thought about retiring from football altogether. Both Bartra and Ginter have left the club since. In fact, seven players out of the starting 11 that played the rescheduled match against Monaco have transferred away from Borussia Dortmund. The silver lining is that the monster mastermind behind this was caught. He was found guilty of 28 counts of attempted murder and will serve 14 years in jail. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.